Here in San Diego, hundreds of people crowded the streets in a protest today. That's right, CBS 8's Esmeralda Perez spoke to people downtown about this four-day ceasefire. Hostages held captive by Hamas were released and they swapped between both sides. Here in San Diego, people made their voices heard. As the war in the Middle East continues, 24 hostages held captive for weeks by Hamas were released today. 13 Israeli children and women were released from Gaza in exchange for 39 Palestinian prisoners. This as part of a ceasefire swap. I don't see it as a win. I don't see it as a, a, a good thing for humanity. I mean, the genocide is going to continue after four days. In the wake of the news, the organization ADL made a post on X saying, Relieved to see that these 13 captives are back on Israeli soil. We will not rest until all the hostages brutally seized by Hamas on October 7th return home. End quote. <laughs> Meanwhile, in San Diego, hundreds of Palestinian supporters protested downtown, chanting many with flags and signs. This is a four-day pause. I mean, what, just four days, here's some humanitarian aid, and then we're going to go back to committing a genocide? Part of the deal included humanitarian aid, with increased supplies like medicine, fuel, and food making its way to Gaza. In a second post, ADL thanks President Biden for his administration's intense efforts with Qatar and Egypt in negotiating this release. Today, those who participated in the protest to say more needs to be done. We're also asking that um, that all hostages, all hostages and all of our uh, political prisoners be released. Hamas is set to release about 50 hostages in exchange for Israel releasing 150 Palestinian prisoners over the next four days. Esmeralda Perez, CBS 8.